Hey guys, it's me, Allie, and you're watching my channel. Today I'm bringing you guys the ultimate summer bucket list. Personally, tomorrow starts my last week of sophomore year, and I could not be more excited. So since summer is so close, I'm bringing you guys my ultimate summer bucket list and what I'm trying to do this summer. Like, I'm trying to cross all of these things off, and we're going to break my shell this summer because I was, like, super outgoing, and then, like, I slowly became introverted, but, like, I'm sick of being introverted. Like, I don't want to. I want to be outgoing, and I want to be fun. So we're breaking that shell this summer, and we're going to have so so much fun so today i'm gonna bring you guys my summer bucket list and what i'm personally trying to do this summer so if i count it right there are 35 things that i want to do this summer on my summer bucket list some of the things on this list are crazier than others but once you get into summer like after a month in summer you're just like what do we even do anymore so that's why i made this list because i just know that i'm always like there's nothing to do i don't know what to do so i can lean into this list and be like okay this is what we're doing. So right now, open your notes app in your phone or go get a piece of paper and a pen and write down your summer bucket list because I know that like it gets to the point where you think there's nothing to do and you just want to go back to school. But no, we're going to make the most of this summer because time has been flying by so freaking fast. It's honestly insane. Like I'm going to be a junior next year. So we really need to take advantage of these last summers of being teenagers where we honestly have no responsibilities and we need to take full advantage of that. So open your notes app, get a piece of paper and let's write down our summer bucket list. This is in no specific order. I've kind of been creating this for the past couple months leading up to summer. So they're kind of just random, but let's get started. So the first thing on my bucket list is a little bit random. It's definitely if you're just bored with your friends, you have nothing to do, you're like, okay, let's just go learn to skate. We have a local skate park near us and I honestly think it'd be so much fun to get my friends who actually do know how to skate and have them teach me because I'm so uncoordinated. like. It's really, really bad. And we'd probably have to go get me bubble wrap and literally bubble wrap me because I will face plant. I'm so, so bad at anything to do with anything. I can skate on a longboard, but that's like the most basic thing ever. So learning how to skate this summer, I feel like would just be so much fun. Embarrassing for me, but funny for anybody watching because I am just terrible at any sort of activity like that. That one's a little bit random, but I do feel like it would be fun. So if you have nothing to do, go learn to skate. This next one I feel like we'll all be doing this summer without even like knowing it, but it's a competition on who can tan the most. So how this challenge works is you get a tanning sticker. I feel like you can get them from Amazon or Walmart and you just put it on, you go tanning. And I feel like for me personally, I would have to do it for like multiple days in a row. So you just get the same type of sticker and keep putting it on every single time you tan and see what the difference is after a couple of days of tanning and see who got the most tan. This would probably work the best if you have no tan at all and then you just start with the sticker. I feel like it would be a huge difference by the end of summer if you continue to do it. We're all going to be tanning anyway, so might as well make a competition and see who can get the tannest. The next one's a little scary and honestly, I would say I'd want to do this and then I'd get there and I'd probably be terrified, but it's night swimming at the beach. I know that a lot of you guys do not live near the beach, so this could be at a lake, it could be at the pool, anywhere, any body of water, honestly, just go night swimming. For us, it'd be the beach since I live in Florida, but that honestly sounds terrifying because Uriel's friends literally caught two sharks at the beach this weekend, like two days ago. So like, would I want to do that? Honestly, I'd prefer the pool. I personally do not like the nighttime, so I usually go swimming during the daytime, not very much at night. But this summer, we are going to come out of my shell and we're going to be outgoing and we're going to have so much fun. And I'm not letting myself be a baby, okay? I'm holding myself accountable and I'm going to do every single thing on this list. All right, the next one's a challenge. It is 24 hours awake. So you wake up at like 7 a.m. and you cannot go to sleep until 7 a.m. the next day. So it's just awake for 24 hours straight. So you just have to find things to do with those 24 hours. I feel like this would be so much fun with like a whole group of people, like a whole group of girls and just like slumber party all night, stay awake all night, do things throughout the whole entire day and then you go to sleep at 7 a.m. the next day and just knock out. I'm currently a little bit of a grandma. I go to sleep like max 11.30. So once again, we are gonna come out of our shell this summer and we're gonna do it. I feel like during those 24 hours would be a good time to do other like littler things on the bucket list. Like night swimming would be a good one because it takes up a good amount of time and it awakes you because you're jumping into water. The next one is one that I feel like is more my vibe at the moment. It's going hammocking. So basically just go to like Five Below, Walmart, get a hammock 
and go out with your friends and find two trees, put up your hammock and just chill there. You can make a little bonfire, you can get a book because last summer we read so much and then once school started, we just simply didn't have time to sit down and read. And I feel like that's so true. Like when you go to the beach, just chilling at home, like there's just a different vibe during the summer and it's just the vibe to read. So I feel like hammocking is a perfect time to just grab a group of friends, Go set up your hammock and read and just chill. It just sounds like so much fun and so chill. So I can definitely see myself doing that this summer to recover from one of my more exciting days. Just go hammocking to chill and rewind. So I can see myself doing that one for sure. The next one is really, really fun. Digital cameras are like super, super popular right now, but you could also do it on your phone. But basically what it is, is taking pictures with 50 strangers. This could literally be anywhere. If you go to an amusement park, if you are at camp, we did that at camp last summer. We took pictures with so many random people. It could be at the beach. It could be, I don't know what other people do in other states if you don't go to the beach. I don't know. It could be anywhere, but you just go up to 50 strangers and take a pic with them. And it's kind of like a conversation starter and you can make new friends through that. So I think it's a really good idea. It kind of just pushes you to interact with people. And it's also fun because then you have pics with 50 different strangers. I do recommend getting a digital camera or a disposable camera for the summer or just for life in general because I think they are so much fun. Me and my friend group have had them for like over a year now and they just feel so much more special than taking a picture on your phone and when you go up to somebody and you're like okay take a picture with your phone it's kind of like why are you taking a picture of me but with a camera it just feels like a different vibe and I just love digital cameras. I have so many of them so I definitely would recommend investing in one for the summer. This next one is a really good date idea but you could also just do it with a group of friends. It is a drive-in movie. I've never been to one but it sounds like so much fun. If you guys have a friend that has a truck that would be ideal like just open the bed of the truck and put blankets, get a bunch of snacks and go to a drive-in movie and watch a movie from the bed of a truck. That like sounds so much fun. I personally don't have a friend with a truck. So we would have to squeeze in like little cars because we all have little cars, but it still sounds like so, so much fun. If you have a boyfriend, if you just have a friend group, either way, this next one is going camping at a spring. It doesn't have to just be a spring. It could be a lake. It could be literally anywhere in the middle of the woods. It doesn't matter, just going camping. For us, I'm not gonna go camping in the middle of the woods. But we do have springs in Florida and I've always wanted to go to one and they have camping sites there. So I feel like it'd just be so much fun to go with a group of friends and set up camp by a spring. I've only ever gone camping in my backyard and that was last summer and I've never actually gone real camping. So I feel like this would just be so much fun and like there'll be so much bonding because you're literally in a tent. I feel like it'd just be so much fun, especially if you're not a camper like me. Like I never go camping. I've camped in my backyard. So I feel like it'd just be such a different type of hangout and it could just make such good memories. The next one is a lot more chill. It is yoga. I know it kind of sounds stupid, but I feel like when you're going, going, going and doing so much fun things, it's good to like unwind and do something chill and kind of just relax and clear your mind so i feel like yoga would be the perfect way like either hot yoga goat yoga i feel like they have that near us or they have like dog yoga something like that would just be so much fun especially if you have like goat or dog yoga so much fun literally just any type of yoga you can do it yourself or you can do it with friends literally anything like that and then just go get like some fun breakfast afterwards would be like a very chill but fun hangout the next one's a boat day and I will for sure be having boat days this summer. If you guys watch our TikTok, you would know that we are looking to buy a boat. So I'm so excited for summer boat days. I feel like boat days are just so much fun with your family, with your friends, literally anything. I feel like they're just so, so much fun. You get a good tan. It could be really, really chill or it could just be so chaotic and fun. I just love being out on the water. So boat day is definitely on my bucket list. Many, many boat days actually. I just want to be out on the water every single day this summer. Definitely the vibe of the summer. The next one's another one you could do with your friends it is a no phone weekend or just like two days one day however long you want to make it just no phones which is kind of a hard challenge in today's world because it's always like you have to text your parents you need to be on life 360 and all those sorts of things but if you can just limit it to one phone for like emergencies in the group so just one person has their phone and that's it and you just go your whole day without a phone. I went to camp last summer and I'm going again this summer and they take away your phone for an entire week. And when I tell you that's the best freaking week of my life, like it's just so fun to have no connections to the outside world. Like you really enjoy the people you're with and like what you're doing. So if you can limit it to one phone for the entire friend group, just for emergencies, let your parents know, like text this number if you want to get in contact with me. It's just so nice to have no distractions and just like 
live in the moment and with the people you're actually with and not be like scrolling on TikTok like, oh, this person's doing this, checking snap mats, oh, they're at the beach or oh, they're doing this. Like just live in the moment for those couple of days and then maybe you'll slowly just stop using your phone as much when you hang out because you realize it's not necessary. When I came back from camp, I did not want to go on my phone. Like I was like, what is this advice? Like just don't give it back to me. Like I'm perfectly fine without it. But then I got back in and I got addicted to it again. So it's just like slowly letting go of it. The next one's going thrifting. This is a really good like last minute plan. Like you have nothing to do. Let's just go thrifting because it's affordable and like there's thrift stores everywhere. It's something that you can always do. So thrifting is definitely one for the summer. And if you want to make it fun, like do a TikTok where you just like scroll along and then you stop and pick out a random outfit and just make it fun because there's just so many options at the thrift store. Like you can find so many things there. Next one's a yes day, which I feel like is just so much fun. It could be with your family or it could be with your friends. It doesn't matter. It could be with like anybody. And if you guys don't know what that is, basically it's a yes day. You just say yes to everything. Like, oh, let's go jump off a bridge. Yeah, let's go do it. Like you just can't say no. And it's a little bit risky. It depends on the type of people you're with, but be smart. Like if it's like go do something really, really stupid, you can obviously say no. It's a way to be a little bit more outgoing and just have a little bit more fun because the whole thing is you just can't say no and you just have to do it. But be smart. Like, don't be like stupid, stupid. Just be realistic. I feel like this would be a really good one if you're going on a family trip. Just have a little yes day during your trip and everybody just has to say yes for an entire day. The next one I actually did a couple weekends ago, it is baking and going to give them to friends. So make cupcakes, make cookies, and then just post on your Snapchat and be like, who wants one? And then you just go and deliver it to friends. We did that the other weekend and it was fun. It's definitely something to do when you just are bored. Baking is so much fun, especially with friends. So just bake and go give them out to people. The next one is making new friends. That's so bland. Like that's obviously the goal all the time. But yeah, make new friends, I guess. This one is one I really wanna do. I wanna go to a high school party. I've never been to one. And honestly, it kind of scares me to go to one. I just wanna go and observe and see that the hype is definitely not real. Like it's so overhyped because from what I heard, it is not what it seems, but I just wanna experience it for myself and just go to a high school party. This next one, I feel like it's just summer core. Like when you think of summer, you think of bonfires. Just sitting around the bonfire, making s'mores, talking with your friends. I feel like that's just so summer. Then we have Yard Olympics. I feel like this would be so much fun if you have competitive friends, but basically what it is, it is slip and slide kickball. So go to like Home Depot, Lowe's and get like blue tarp and make like a little kickball field, like baseball pretty much, and just make like a diamond. And then you put soap and water all over it, get a kickball and have at it. It is so difficult because you're running on a slip and slide. I feel like it would be so much fun if you have competitive friends to just see them try so hard but they physically can't because it's wet and slippery. Definitely a good summer day activity to just do with a bunch of people and like your family also so much fun. Then we have dancing in the rain here in Florida. It is so clear during the day like no clouds during the day but then once it hits five o'clock it's downpour like it just rains for like two hours but then by the time sunset comes around it's a like, clear and it has like the prettiest sunsets because there's like a bunch of clouds but during that two hour period just go out dance in the rain summer i feel like it's just always raining for some reason so i feel like dancing in the rain just be a fun little impulsive activity <laughs> this next one we actually did last summer it is henna tattoos they are so much fun you get it off of amazon and you just tattoo your whole body honestly it's so much fun they are a little bit messy so you have to like let them dry or else it'll get everywhere and mess up but it's really fun to do with your friends we did it at the beach house last summer and then we have a rainy day movie marathon when the day just sucks out and you just can't do anything about it just sit inside with your friends and watch a bunch of movies just like all the movies, High School Musical, all the like nostalgic childhood movies, watch them all. Just do a whole binge of all the movies that you watched when you were a kid. I feel like that'd just be just so nostalgic. And this one is definitely one that I've wanted to do for forever, but just never came around to it. Learning to surf. When I was in Hawaii, I did attempt to surf, but it was not so much of a success, but I do want to learn to surf. I specifically remember like the second day of summer last year, the waves were ginormous, like we were getting eaten. So if they're like that again this summer, I definitely want to go out and just try to surf, probably end up drowning. I almost drowned last year, it was terrible, but I do want to learn how to surf. I feel like it'd just be so much fun.
I really just want to live out my movie dreams. Like I remember growing up watching all these movies like High School Musical, like the Cinderella movies and all this and it always makes high school seem like so much fun and honestly it's very much overhyped, like it's not how high school is at all, but you can definitely make the most out of it. That is my goal for the summer. Make it as fun and as good as possible. And just have a good attitude towards it, because if not, I could definitely just lay in bed all summer, but I'm gonna have a good attitude towards it and just try to make it the best summer that I can. Then we have a flower crown picnic party. If you have a summer birthday, this is like perfect. Just go to a field, it could be in your backyard, it could be literally anywhere, and just set up like sheets on the floor, get little tables, and make flower crowns and have like a little picnic. I feel like that'd be so much fun. Then we have going fishing. My boyfriend loves to fish, so that's an obvious. And you can tan while you fish, so win-win. We only have a couple left, so we're gonna do a little speed round through the rest of them. First, we have making jewelry, make necklaces. You can put like seashells in them, Maddie does that. You can make bracelets, you can make earrings, you can make rings, just make jewelry, like make a day out of that. Then we have write letters to your future self. So write yourself a letter and then you can open it next summer, you can open it in a couple months. Just write down everything that's going on in your life and then you can look back at it in a year, in two, whenever you wanna open it, just write it to your future self. Then we have going to a museum. It's just a fun little day activity, just go to a museum, take some cute pictures look at art it's a good like last minute idea if you have nothing to do and we have going to a concert i have never been to a concert so i really want to go to one so hopefully there's somebody playing in florida this summer so i can go to a concert and we have jet skiing once again i want to be in water all summer so jet skiing is definitely something that i want to do the last one for my ultimate summer bucket list is a day trip go anywhere 30 minutes away an hour away with permission obviously just go and take a little day trip spend the whole entire day there it could literally be the next town over and just go explore a place that isn't familiar to you it could just be the next town it could be like an hour away it could be 30 minutes away whatever it is just go explore another town and see what it has to offer and that is all for my ultimate summer bucket list i really hope that this gave you guys some inspiration and got you guys into the summer mood because right now i'm so hyped for summer like i can just blab about it forever now i will be checking in with you guys throughout the summer and telling you guys what i've done and what i've yet to do and maybe there'll be videos on like specific things on my bucket list like 24 hours a week i can vlog that and share that with you guys with all my friends just staying up for an entire day so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys have some other things that i should add to my summer bucket list leave them down below and also comment what is the ultimate thing you want to do this summer like on the top of your bucket list what do you want to do this summer that'll make it top tier so that is all for my bucket list let's make this summer one to remember because it's so sad that we like have limited summers left like you guys might be freshmen or in eighth grade or you might be like me where we're going into our junior year of high school so we have two summers until our last summer before college like what so we don't have that much time left okay so let's make it count and let's have so much fun but in the smart way okay guys i'm not promoting doing stupid stuff be smart all these things that i have written down can be taken in good ways and bad ways make them good just do what's right and what your parents would be proud of don't be doing stupid things so anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one bye